Hi, welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. We're on Tuesday the 16th. We've passed the halfway point of spring. Last episode we did the egg festival. Okay, tomorrow's forecast. Sunny. And the spirits are displeased. Okay, what mail do we have? Dear neighbor, hope you feel unsettled in your new home. I am right into that you know the PA store is now selling fertilizers. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Okay, let's get these parsnips. I don't think I'll replant anything there. Got enough to be watering at the moment. See, I don't think I need to keep those for anything. I'm sure I've done green beans. Oh, I haven't done beans. Okay, so I need to do a bean. Okay, I'm gonna pick some more salmon berries. Yeah, so in the mines last time, um, I realized we'd be better off with an upgraded pickaxe. So that, I think, is going to be the plan for today. I'll see what stuff I have to take to Plint. Crack open some geodes. Donate anything to the museum. And then leave my pickaxe with him for a couple of days. Let's see, let's get these. Can do another little bit over here. Get rid of the rest of these weeds. Do need to start making a bit more progress with um, clearing a lot of this debris. I mean, all these rocks. These rocks everywhere are really annoying. Actually, it might be worth doing some of that now. It just occurred to me we won't have our pickaxe for two days. I'll do this top half. Still need to decide where to put the animals. Over here might be nice. Oh, there's a salmon berry hiding up here. Can't see the top of the silo. It's hidden amongst all the... Um, the foliage around the outside. Oh no, I don't want that. I want pickaxe. See, I could have the animals around this half, and then would they would they go and wander around on that grass? I think they might. But they wouldn't eat that, because this is the grass that they eat. That might be a good plan. We shall see. Okay, let's get the, these few rocks away. I'll leave those for next time. What is it? It's Tuesday today. I don't think there's anything that's happening today. Um, so we've got an aerobics class. So if I want to chat to anybody, go and give any gifts to those villagers. I know exactly where they are. Start increasing my friendship a little bit. I haven't checked the calendar in a while. I don't know if there's any birthdays coming up. Okay, pop those in, so I can just press that one. Did I water my cat's bowl? I did not. Oh, mischief, I'm sorry. There you go, have some water. That's what I've got, right. Um, don't need to take any of those to Gunther. So I'll crack open these. And I need to keep one of those. Oh, I do need to donate one of that. Okay. Anything else? Who do I want to 
make friends with today? Um, oh, actually, I can give this... How much do Amethyst sell for? I'll check how much the Amethyst sells for, because I know Emily likes Amethyst. That could be why I'm a bit short on daffodils, because I gave them, them as gifts to people. I could be giving parsnips as gifts, too. Right. Head to Pierre's, sell a few things. Or should I do Gunther's first? I might just give Emily the amethyst anyway. I could oh, find plenty more in the mines. What's this? Please be an artifact. Oh, thank you. Prehistoric tool. Let's see, so with no help wanted, whose birthdays are coming up? So we've missed Haley's birthday, but that's fine. Um, Shane's birthday. We've got the flower dance. Now, I can dance with somebody, but only if you've got four hearts with them. And if you want to do that on year one, I think you have to start from week one. Emily's birthday's coming up too. And Pierre. Ooh, what's this? Welcome to Pierre's. How can I help you? Um... Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%? Well, any takers? Oh, poor Pierre. But I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. Must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. Can you blame them? Georgia Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. Don't worry, Pierre. We'll get rid of Georgia Corp. Uh, I'm not in a good mood right now. I said I'm not in a good mood. What do you want? Okay, calm down. Um, here. Have a dandelion. Cheer yourself up a bit. That's very kind of you. Okay, let's, so let's see how much... It's up 245. See, that's for 7. That's not actually all that much. Um... I need one of those. Some of are only, you know, like 5 gold each or something. I sell the parsnips? Yeah, I'll sell the parsnips. So I, can, so I can gift those to people. Most of the villagers like um, vegetables. Exercise is important for staying healthy. Yep. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. Um, as a parent, I don't have much time to devote to myself, so I try and make every minute count. Um, he helps me out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining. Okay, I'm kind of two conversations at once there. That was confusing. I've seen wild horse radish in the forest. Foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash. Or you can use what you find as gifts or food. Yep. I work part-time at Gus's saloon. Pays the bills. Hey, if you need any materials or blueprints, my shop is the place you're looking for. Okay, so... Um, I give this to Emily. This gift is fabulous, thank you so much. And I'll give quotes to Robin. Thanks, this is really nice. But plus your business supports the local economy. It does, yes. And now I don't interrupt their little activities. So what did they think of that? So Emily loved the amethyst. 
and Robin liked the quads. Maybe I should go and give Abigail a quartz next time. See if she eats it. Sometimes you give her a quartz and she says, Mmm, yum, thank you. Oh, how did you know I was hungry? Oh, there's a dafter. Another dafter. Might be able to make another couple of seed packets with those. Actually, I'll give one to... let's give one to Hayley. I'm sure she likes daffodils. For me? Thank you. Nice makeup. Oh wait, are you even wearing any? I'm bored. Okay, well... Let's see what you thought of that daffodil. Yeah, Hayley liked the daffodil. Okay, let's go and put this bean add this bean to my um, collections here so then because that will be done and then I can just sell all the rest of the beans I find do need to bring one cauliflower too oh I forgot to bring oh, I forgot to bring the bars with me to upgrade I don't think I've got time by the time I get home now it'll be I can, no I won't I won't risk it I'll have to put it in tomorrow instead I forgot that was the whole idea of going to Clint's gonna crack open the geodes first and then leave my pickaxe there with it that's annoying Clint why are you throwing away coal yeah well Let's get something good now. Oh, I said something good. Oh, what's that? Looks like a cloud. Lunarite. Oh. Aeronite? I don't know if I'm saying these right. Another one of those. Whatever it is. And another daffodil. Okay. Gunther, found some stuff for you. Here you go. Um, I want to move this fossil. Put it up there because get a few more fossils to go with that. Okay, we're looking good so far. What reward is this? A night on Echo Hill. Furniture. Okay, the painting took on my wall. Did, I did open that. They hide Penny and the kids. I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. I know she dislikes daffodils, so I'm not going to give her a daffodil. What? Plus, I want to save these two anyway. I might have enough to make some more seed packets. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Hey, Sam. Hey, Elliot. How's it going? How's your book? Great idea can pass through your head when you least expect it. But if your mind is too busy, you might miss it. Okay, what do we have down here? Some clams? Oyster? Oh, I just walked straight past that one. I think the seagulls were hiding it. annoyed that I forgot the copper bars so I couldn't actually leave my pickaxe there that's really annoying Just check these trash cans nothing there oh Alex is too close beach is a cool place to hang out soak up some rays sure hey you don't you be snooping around the trailer I'm not going to snoop around the trailer what you take me for? Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. Okay, I'll keep talking to him until he becomes friends. Looks like another gloomy day. Well, maybe from there. Outside is actually quite sunny. 
Got petals falling everywhere. I really want to check both those bins, but Alex is in the way. Check Haley and Jordy's bins first. Oh, maybe I won't because Penny and the kids are there. Oh, can't a person check bins in peace? Okay, not a bad day for forage of us today. Get some more salmon berries. I'll eat all these on my next trip into the mines. There's loads of them. I'm stuck. Let's see. Back to a lap of the lake, I think. It's so much easier with the magnet rings. wrong bush. I don't want to hit that one. I want to hit that one. Okay, I'm going to have a wander back through town. Hopefully everybody will be out of the way of all the bins now. And hopefully I'll get something good from them. Oh, hang on. Linus is going to check them before me. Sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy farmings. Ah, you turned up at the right moment, miss. Could you do an old man a favour? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. Hey, Linus. Find anything good? It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? Nah, it's fine. Thanks, Danny. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You can go on home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. Yeah, have a look in Gus's one. That's the one where you'll get all the good food. Wait. I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. Okay, let's see what we can find. So far, nothing. Okay. Well, it wasn't a complete wasted trip coming back here because had I gone straight to the farm, I wouldn't have seen that cutscene. Did 
have a quick look up by the bus. Nothing up there. Now, what of this do I need to keep? Um, let's see, fish tank. I do still need the clam. But do I have one? one um, put those away there. I do have a clam already. But oyster, I'm pretty sure I had an oyster in there too. Oh, I do, yes, okay. So these are safe to be sold. And uh, yeah, that'd be fine. I'll sell that too. Okay, hang on. Two daffodils. Oh, two leeks. Two of those and two of those. It's another 700 gold for seeds. this clay away and it's only 920 and I've got a little bit of energy I'll chop these strum stumps down the only real reason I left them there was because it was more beneficial to me early on to just fell the tree I would have got more XP from it but now I don't want the stumps there because they look a bit out of place. There. Put those away. And can I put this painting up anywhere? I could put it there next to the window. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, bedtime. Level 2 farming. And level 3 foraging. Okay. 1100 gold. Okay, what are we up to now? Let's see, weather report. Uh, cloudy with a light breeze. Spirits are neutral. And Queen of Swords re rerun. Okay, these are not quite ready yet. Hopefully soon. Can't remember what day I planted them. Okay, so what I'm thinking for today... Um, I haven't got enough gold to upgrade my pickaxe and buy a coup. So what I'm thinking is, if I take the stuff with me, on a neutral day, I head to the mine, but just do lower levels, try and farm some copper, or even just keep doing level 41 for a little bit. That worked out pretty well last time. Then go to Clint's straight from the mine. Hey, Mischief, how are you doing? Okay, put that away. Oh, I don't want eight, I only want five. There, thank you. So, what can I craft? I can make mayonnaise machines. That needs copper bar. I need iron bar for the recycling machine. Uh, I need copper bar for the tapper. Okay, so I've got my copper for pickaxe. So let's head to the mine. You know what? I'm going to leave my watering can here. Just in case inventory is full. But the only thing I'll need from the mine desperately for tomorrow morning would be the watering can. The strawberries are not going to water themselves. It's not a rain day. Oh, I can see some salmon berries down on the road there. I can go there. 
probably tomorrow now. Not likely to head back that way today. Well, it depends actually. When I come back from town, through town, past the bus stop, I might have time to stop there. I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. Okay. That's fine. Let's get these little worms. Oh, missed. Oh, it's just clay. Oh, give me something better than clay. Okay, what do I need? I'll take that and that. Some berries. Take the coal, just in case I want to bomb something. Okay, not bad. Could really do with a better weapon now. So I'll just put the coal here so I can count what I'm um don't need the stone there. Okay, so I've got copper, iron, and coal. And I need to remember I'm not staying here all day. Probably want to leave about two ish. Head to Clint's. And remember as well that I'm not here for exploring deeper. back out I'll reset the floor oh why can't I pass this leave the mine okay Let's see what's there now that's a bit too far away They may have been a little bit too spread out. I think a cherry bomb would have got them all. But I'm running low on copper still. Do I actually have enough for one cherry bomb yet? I'm not going to bother attacking these. I'm just going to reset again. another amethyst okay no I don't want to fight you okay what do we have aquamarine Aquamarines are quite worth, um, they're worth quite a bit, so I'll take that. Can't remember off the top of my head how much they're worth. But I know I've got one ready to put in the community center. And I'm pretty sure, um, can you keep an eye on my health? 
I'm pretty sure I put one in the museum. Uh, it's two o'clock, right? Last one. Okay, now I'll just quickly bomb that. Put it down, thank you. Okay. Right, pop those away. Um... Take those. Uh, take my fishing rod. Did I leave the spring onions there? Oh yeah, yeah. So I've got the salmon berries instead. I need my copper. Um, I leave. I leave eight. That should. That's enough for two cherry bombs, isn't it? Yeah. So I want to be smelting some more. I'm not going to run out of... I'm not going to go out of my way to collect anything now. I'm not sure how long it actually takes to walk to Clint's. I'm pretty sure I've got enough time, but I don't know about making um, side trips. So I didn't find any geodes, so I've got nothing to get Clint to open for me. No, no geodes. Um, so, upgrade pickaxe please. Thank you. So I'll have to do without the pickaxe for tomorrow. And then the following day, I can pick it up. Ah, oh, typical, now I get a geode. Fine. Okay, so that's been put in. Oh, I could have left the boots up there. Okay, let's see. Who have I given... I could give the amethyst to Emily now. Yeah, why not? Say hi to Penny. We can have a school here. No. I want to look for bugs, but mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. Well, look for bugs and get told off. Or don't look for bugs and don't get told off. Okay, so I'll head to the saloon. Oh, that was close. Lewis nearly saw me. Let's open these while nobody's around. Hey Emily, here you go. This gift is fabulous, thank you so much. I've heard rumours of rare and powerful magic rings, forged long ago by forgotten civilizations. I'm not sure if it's true or just a fairy tale. That sounds really interesting. Okay, let's see what this is. I need sunfish. I'll accept that. Am I going to catch a sunfish tomorrow? Trying to come up with a new song for my band, but I'm blanking. Hey, what do you think my new song should be about? Um, ooh. Uh, City in the Sea. Hey, you know what? That sounds perfect, thanks. Right, let's see if I can catch some fish now. I'm going to block everybody. Yeah, well, you guys can just walk around, okay? I'm busy fishing, can't you see? Might head up to the lake and give this frozen tea to Sebastian. He loves that, so... Get my friendship up a little bit with him. There you go. Sunfish for Clint. Give it to him tomorrow. Hey 
Hey guys, how you doing? Hey there, Danny. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects. Are you doing okay at your place? How's the woodwork in your cottage holding up? Yeah, it's not too bad. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday, check it out. You do that. Okay, so I'll just fish here for a little bit. What have I got? I've got 31 energy. But I have got a few things to eat if I need to. I'll just wait here for Seb to come out, have his smoke. I'll give him this frozen tea I found. I could do another cast. I don't think that fish moved at all. Yep. I was cast until I eat something. Oh, this set. I can save my food for another time. Oh, that was so close to being perfect. Hey Seb, how's it going? Hang on, I don't want to have my fishing rod equipped. I don't want to accidentally cast. What are you going to do today? Here you go, I found this for you. I really love this. How did you know? Probably nothing. Okay, well. You stay there. Have some fresh air. Have a smoke. And then you can decide what you're going to do. Where's Sebastian? Yes, yeah, so Sebastian loved that. I think that little tiny icon there means I've got that item in my bag. I noticed that when I gave Haley the daffodil. I think that's what it means. Never noticed it being there before. Oh, and I didn't come back that way. Oh. Well. Never mind. Can get those another time. I'll stick this in there. Oh, I'm gonna call. Pop all those away. And the geode, put those in there. Take them back up to the mines next time. Okay, let's, uh, I need the sunfish for Clint. Rest of the fish are spare so they can be sold. And grab these salmon berries. Let's see. Oh, I've got 74 iron. Maybe I should start spelting that now. I'm wondering if now might be a good time to build a new furnace. Alright, I'll just wait for this copper. Shouldn't take too long. And then I can put this iron in to smelt overnight. Okay, bedtime. So I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't already, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back real soon with the next episode. In the meantime, take care. Bye.